I'm here in Austin, Texas today for South by Southwest Interactive, and I was walking down the street and I saw this crazy truck with a cell phone tower on top, so I wanted to find out a little bit more of what it was. Mike, what is the name for this cart right here? This is called a cow or a cell on wheels. We rolled three of them uh, into downtown Austin ahead of South by Southwest. What was the purpose of doing that this year? Well, this really improves the capacity of the network. We have eight uh, cell sites that are surrounding downtown that we're really keeping an eye on, but uh, these three temporary uh, cell sites really um, kind of add the capacity that those sites don't pick up. We have uh, quite a few of them stationed throughout the country and uh, when we need to deploy one like we have for Hurricane Ike and some other hurricanes, uh, we certainly do that and it gets cell service up and running as quickly as it gets there. So what kind of signals are coming out of these? Out of this cow we have uh, 2G, 3G and Wi-Fi. It doesn't add speed, Okay. Uh, it just adds capacity, so okay. it's, it's literally a temporary cell site on wheels. Were these trucks here last year? These trucks were not here last year. Last year we saw unprecedented demand uh, on the network here at South by Southwest. Um, we have twice as many smartphones as our nearest competitor, so you know that mobile broadband explosion, we're kind of at the front of that. Over the past three years, we've seen a 5,000% increase in mobile broadband traffic on our network alone. Wow. Uh, so it's really exploded. So this year we've rolled in these cows. We've also um, uh, addressed capacity issues inside the convention center. We've installed, it's called a distributed antenna system. We call it a DAS. And there are 50 nodes, and they're everywhere in the convention center, and that supplements um, coverage inside the building. AT&T will be offering um, uh, something that increases your cell signal in your home in the coming months, but this is really something that AT&T comes in and does, uh, usually in high traffic areas. Um, we have a distributed antenna system, for instance, here in Austin at the University of Texas. How do you guys monitor what people are saying about the networks within the city? Well, we, we monitor uh, Facebook, Twitter, and other social networking websites 24-7. And uh, we were very pleased this year to hear uh, that, that there is a positive experience. I mean, these are heavy, heavy mobile broadband users. These are, you know, uh, people who are using it all the time. They want to upload, they want to download. And so we really wanted to beef up the network. And we feel like, uh, so far, it's been very successful. I would love to go inside and check out kind of the inner workings of this cow. So. Great, you'll be the first to do it. Let's Ooh, go. Ooh, fun. How is everything in here connected? How are the signals going out? How are things coming in? Um, what exactly is going on? Well, th there's a thing called the backhaul, and, and in very simple terms, it's the communication between the cell side and the network. Uh, so in the eight cell sites around downtown, we've quadrupled the backhaul, uh, but not just those cell sites, the three temporary cell sites as well. These are converters that uh, come in via fiber optics, and then it converts it into ethernet. Right, okay. that's correct. Okay, and then can you show me what these other pieces are? Like, what do these broadcast out? Sure. This is the uh, 3G cabinet back here in the corner. Uh, these two cabinets handle 2G and GSM. These? And then this is our Wi-Fi right here. Well, I'd like to thank you so much for showing us around and uh, definitely will have a new appreciation for what goes into organizing events and as far as the cell phone, something that we use all the time, That's every right. day. Thanks. All right, well, it's our pleasure. Thank you.